Welcome back then to Raider here in North Wales for the PAR Holmes Welsh Open Motocross Championship Round 2. Beautiful scenery as you can see. It was a lovely evening, although rain had threatened, but so far it was staying dry. The winner of race one here this evening was the 19-year-old youngster from Ulster in Northern Ireland here, number 15 on the CAS Honda, Gordon Crockard. He took top honours and the 20 points from race one. Sean Grosvenor in second, Robbie Herring in third, then Paul Edmondson, Andy Watkins and Paul Coward rounding up the top six. And it was nice to see Rob Herring here. These is the man what the fans had come to see as they came down to the line then for the second race of the day. Number 30 on the inside, that's Mark Hucklebridge from Chippenham, the 18-year-old riding for the MJ Church racing team this year as the gate dropped and on. There they came, it was 21, I think. That would be Andy Watkins who took the whole shot as the rest of them follow him through. Let's pick it up as they come back into view at the top of the circuit. It looked like Andy Watkins. Indeed it is on the 500 Honda. And that's Sean Grosvenor, the Bridgestone Honda-mounted AMCA rider in second place. Now, where is the multi-British champion Rob Herring? He's riding bike number nine. So it's the two AMCA boys at the moment that lead the ACU professionals. No Neil Prince here tonight. He's out with an injury as Andy Watkins, number 21, leads them down with Grosvenor, number 61. The two Honda boys at the front leading the second round of this PAR Holmes Welsh Open Motocross Championship. It's a midweek event run on Wednesday night. Very compressed three races they have for the championship plus one race at the end of the day. They call it the dash for cash, but it's Grosvenor at the moment climbing all over. Andy Watkins will look him back at the action behind him. That's Adam Lyons, number four, on the TM. Herring is in amongst this group somewhere. Didn't get too good a start on the 500 hybrid Honda. Now it's, it's Grosvenor. Grosvenor now leads. So the young man, the local young man, as we should say, Sean Grosvenor, leads at the moment. He finished second in race one behind Gordon Crockard, the Irishman. And we are now looking for that number 15, CAS Honda off Trockard. He'll be lurking somewhere behind those two, but it's Grosvenor who leads at the moment with number 61 on the bike. We're looking back for second. It was Andy Watkins. Who is it now? Is Watkins still there? Has he managed to hold off the challenge of the riders behind him? Let's have a look. And yes, indeed he has. Watkins, another local lad, hangs on to second spot. Now, where is Crockard? And where, we ask, is Robbie Herring? Herring, former 125 British motocross champion, former 250, former open British motocross champion as well. There is Herring, just gone through, riding the revolutionary alloy framed 500 Honda. There's only about three of these in existence, specially built for Herring for this year. There is Crockard. No, it's not, it's number 35, that's Paul Coward. Coward, and he's got Mark Hucklebridge, number 30, right behind him. So. Hucklebridge is fourth, Coward is third, there's the race leader, number 61. And there's Andy Watkins. And what, now there's Hucklebridge. Well, I, that was just very, you caught a glimpse there of Stuart Flockard on the Suzuki. We're back with the race leader. It's really getting hot at the moment. Grosvenor determined to win at least one race here. Sean Grosvenor rides with the AMCA, that's the Amateur Motorcycle Association, whereas most of the other riders ride with the Autocycle Union, which is the governing body for the professional side of the sport. Mark Hucklebridge in third, chasing second place man Andy Watkins. Hucklebridge, the third member and the eldest member of the Holt JCB team. It really is getting a bit frantic there at the moment. There's, once again, our race leader. We're looking back for second and third. There they are, the battle is still on between number 21, Andy Watkins. And number 30, Mark Hucklebridge. But Grosvenor, totally unaware of what's going on behind him. There is Hucklebridge, where is Watkins? Have we had a pass at the top of the circuit? No, Watkins has hung on to second. The question we keep asking ourselves is, where is number 15, Gordon Crockard? The 19-year-old Ulsterman in his second year of racing here in the UK. Not familiar with most of the tracks 
but gradually beginning to get used to them as we've got a four. Oh, I thought Hucklebridge was going to pass in mid-air then, but he didn't. Andy Watkins held him back, but Hucklebridge certainly would like to get higher than third place. Number 60, that's Ben Saunders from Ledbury on the 125 ARD Yamaha. He's only 15 years of age, and he's up there with the top 10 at the moment. Andy Watkins, number 21, it's still this young man that leads, Sean Grosvenor. We're looking back for second, and Grosvenor has pulled already quite a considerable gap over second place man. Now, is it still Watkins? Where is that number 30 bike of Mark Hucklebridge? And there he is, he's been off, because that's Paul Coward, number 35, that's in front of him. I think that could be Rob Herring just in front of those two. It's getting pretty dark here already. The, uh, the sun, there hasn't been much sun here. Number 74 going down the hill, that's Lee Jones from Merthyr Tidville. He's on a Ray Hockley 125 Yamaha. 61, Grosvenor. You can see the gap between first and second. There is the battle for second, and it's now between still Andy Watkins, and I think that is, and I'm right, 15, that's Crockard. He's on the charge, looking for a way through on the inside. Is he going to take Watkins going into the jump? The answer is no, Watkins takes the longest route round the corner, but the quickest route, now where? There is Herring, number nine. That's the first we've seen of Rob Herring. The world 500 Grand Prix rider this year, considered to be one of the fastest men on a bike at one stage of his career, but uh, Robbie now riding with the open class. And here comes Grosvenor to the delight of the crowd. He's going to take the checkered. Celebration from Grosvenor. Crockard is going to take second, I think. Gordon Crockard, well, he won the opening race. He's had to finish second best to the man that finished second best to him in race one, Sean Grosvenor, but I'm sure Crockard won't be too unhappy with that decision. Andy Watkins, number 21, going through to finish. That's Herring behind him, so Grosvenor confirmed as the winner. Then Crockard, Watkins, Herring, Hucklebridge finally finishing fifth. And the uh, 125 is Stuart Flockard. He finished sixth. Then back in action for round two of the PAR Holmes Welsh Open Motocross Championship here at Raider in Mid Wales. And a great turnout once again of spectators. And someone here obviously keeping an eye on these three young lads. The MJ Church riders, Tom Church, Mark Hucklebridge and Stephen Sword. On number eight, looking and discussing tactics for the next race as they came down to the line for the third race of the day. It's the last race of the day for the PAR Homes Championship. The race after this will be the Dash for Cash, number 30 on the inside there. That is Mark Hucklebridge, Hulk JCB team, but we've got Rob Herring, number nine. Now remember, so far this evening, we have had a win in race one for Gordon Crockard, a win in race two for the number 61 bike of Sean Grosvenor, who is currently now lying third in this race. So who is going to win race three? Herring crashed in race one, didn't get a good start in race two, but he leads race three. Number nine here, the 29-year-old from Floor in Northamptonshire, Robbie Herring, world-class former 125-250 rider, now riding the big hybrid 500 Honda. This is a 500 engine tucked neatly inside of the 250 all alloy frame. A bit of a revolutionary machine for this year. Not a production model, but Herring really has settled at home on it. 61 then, Grosvenor, the winner of race two right behind him. Then it's number 21. And that, if I'm not very much mistaken, is former AMCA mate to Sean Grosvenor, Andy Watkins. They flash through our pitch here. We're looking back for fourth. That looked like Gordon Crockard. Paul Coward just went through number 35, but Heron has the lead on the big 500R WJ Honda. Still Grosvenor behind him on the Bridgestone 250 Honda, but Crockard is lurking back there, the 19-year-old Irishman who leads the championship so far, but it's Grosvenor 61, still chasing the ACU expert in front. Heron, many times a winner of the British 125 Championship, also the 250 Championship, also a winner of the Open Championship. And Sean Grosvenor, twice a 250 AMCA champion. But Herring it is that leads. We're looking back behind him. This is a couple of one of the uh, whole JCB boys, Mark Hucklebridge. He's got number five, that's Kevin Morris, on the 250 Kawasaki right behind him. But here is Herring, determined to make amends this evening for 
not winning either of the first two races. Remember, he crashed in race one while doing a knick-knack over the uh, finishing tabletop. Crashed when he managed not to get his leg back over the bike. And he said in a statement afterwards, it was more of a can-can't a rather than a can-can. Paul Coward, 35, just gone through. There's number 80 going through Alan Bush. He's got 71 behind him. That's uh, Andrew Manley. But we have a tussle on here because that's Crockard, number 15, the Irish lad from Ulster, Northern Ireland, Gordon Crockard. Winner of race one of this second round series, but Herring leads, and the battle is now on for third. Andy Watkins, number 21, defending that position on the 500 Honda. He's got Gordon Crockard behind him. There's second place man, 61, Sean Grosvenor. A local lad, Sean. And 35, Paul Coward. Travelled a long way to be here tonight, all the way from Kirby in Furness. It's about a four-hour drive to get down to this circuit. But Herring still leads. Grosvenor 61 behind him. Crockard's gone up to third. Watkins relegated down a place to fourth. So Gordon Crockard, he's on the gas. 44. That's the 16-year-old youngster Tom Church. There's Herring over the jump. Second place man. Here comes Crockard. Closing on second place. The man now, the Irishman, wants to have a crack at Herring in front. 121. That's Stuart Flockard, all the way from Scotland. He's the young man to look out for for the high-flying jump tactics. And the battle is on here. Look at Crockard. He's having a crack at Grosvenor as he passed him. He's going to take him on the inside. Yes. Into the uh, right-hand corner. It's quite rutted there. Crockard gets the drop on second place, man. So the Irishman, now second, will be after Rob Herring, number nine. That's the man that leads this race. 44, Tom Church. He's got 1-2-1 one, one, Stuart Flockard right behind him on the Team Suzuki machine. Here they come over the jump. 16-year-old against the 18-year-old. And there's Herring. And there's Crockard. Well, we were expecting a bit of a confrontation between those two. Both riding world-class at the moment. Herring riding the World 500 CC Championship and Crockard riding the 250 World Championship and has scored a point. So it's going to be really tight. Herring has lost that rear mug guard. It's broke off. Look at Crockard on the inside. Herring, very experienced, will take the line. Tries to go on the outside of him, and Herring shoves him up the fence. So that's a win then for Rob Herring, number nine, and Gordon Crockard, thumb up. They enjoyed that race. Let's look at it again. Herring keeps his line on the inside. Crockard tries to go around the outside, and Herring just closes the door. All well, the action just wasn't with the boys at the front because 121 Stuart Flockhard really did thrill the crowd here this evening with some unusual jumping techniques. And there it is, a heel clicker. In slow motion again, both feet off the pegs, over the bars, that's Stuart Flockhard. We spoke to Gordon Crockhard, how did the race go? Yeah, I thought I might have had a chance. Um, I, had, I had plenty of time, you know, to, to line him up on that, you know, for the, for the pass, because I had to make that pass on Sean Grosvenor as well, so I had an idea I might be able to get past there, but Robbie just being a, there's such an experienced rider that he is, you know, he knew how to deal with the situation and he, he came out of it better than me, so can't really ask for any more, at least I had a stab at it, so it was good to, good to have a, at least a chance to try and pass him anyhow. Well, a third in race one, a fourth in race two and a win in race three. Well, what did Rob Herring have to say? Uh, up and down nice so far. Yeah, a little bit. Um, uh, stupid crash, just playing to the crowd in the first race and just ended up falling off and uh, second one, I wasn't ready on the start and I got kind of left behind and the races are really short so I got up to fourth which is alright and then the last one I got a good start and I just uh, rode my own race at the front and Gordon was behind me and the last couple of corners he tried to sneak past but I just made sure I had the inside all the time so it's good for the crowd though, good racing and nice and tight and that's what we want really so all we'll goes down to the last race now. Oh, the confirmed result then, Herring winning the, the uh, last race, Crockard second, then Grosvenor, Watkins, Coward, Stephen Sword rounding up the top six. The overall results, Crockard leads the championship at the moment, then Grosvenor, Herring, Watkins, Coward and Hucklebridge, the top 125 rider on the night with 28 points. Join us soon for the third and final round of this PAR Holmes Welsh Motocross Championship from here, Raider in Mid-Wales, to Len. See you soon.